Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman and welcome back for another video about thyroid conditions and why you're probably still suffering from thyroid symptoms even if your labs appear normal. Or maybe your labs don't appear normal and your doctors can't get them to appear normal. So we need to figure out what's going on. Okay, well in this video we're going to talk about Graves' disease antibodies called TSI antibodies. TSI stands for thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin known as thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin. And what this does is it acts like TSH. What does TSH mean? You're probably familiar with it because your doctor says we're looking at the TSH. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. TSI, thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, which is an immune cell, thyroid stimulating hormone, okay? So when we have different stressors in life, I'll show you on the next slide here, when we have different stressors in life, stressors, not just emotional stress, although that's part of it, your body can start this immune system uh, upregulation or immune system inflammation pattern. And when your immune cells from your immune system, when these immune cells get inflamed, when they start, when they start getting aggravated, maybe that's a better way to put it, in this case it can cause these TSI antibodies and the signal comes down to the thyroid and it actually makes, instead of regulating the thyroid hormones that are produced, it actually causes your thyroid to produce more and excess of thyroid hormones. When your body has too much thyroid hormones going around, rapid heart rate, I've lost weight very quickly, my eyes are bulging, my neck is swollen, conditions like that can occur, okay? So let's understand why we have to know what's going on with this and how to really handle it better. Now it's not about treating your thyroid, it's about looking, what's looking at what's causing this condition in the first place. So when a doctor just takes out part of your thyroid, cuts it out, burns it off, uh, or, and, and then puts you on medication, they still didn't get to why did the body get under attack in the first place? Because even though they take out part of the thyroid and they can't remove all of it, understand something, when they say they removed all of your thyroid tissue, it's literally impossible without damaging your vocal cords. I mean, you've got tissues that run through that thyroid gland. And your thyroid is like gum. If you step on gum in your sneaker, the gum is gonna get stuck to certain parts. You can't get it all off even when you try to clean off that sneaker, right? So they can't get all of the thyroid off. So even though they're regulating you with thyroid hormones, wonderful, but still your immune system, your immune system is gonna be imbalanced. Your immune system should be balanced not way down on one side. So we're gonna look at this, and I'm gonna make it very simple here by you looking at this picture. We have in the center here, this is called an antigen. An antigen could be a food sensitivity. It could be a pesticide on a food. It could be coffee. It could be hormonal imbalances or sugar imbalances. It could be uh, anemia. It could be an infection that's in the body. Maybe you have yeast or fungus in the intestines, or, or maybe you have a bacterial infection. Uh, one way to tell if we have infections is looking at a white blood cell test. Sometimes doctors don't report to patients when they see that something is high or low in the white blood cells because sometimes they just don't know why or what to do about it. All they have at their toolbox is antibiotics and that doesn't fix everything out there. So these antigens, these stressors that are in your environment, they get into your tissues, your body starts to recognize them. And when it recognizes the stressor, we get a signal that comes down from, from this from this antigen, or actually something recognizes the stressor, the, the toxin that's in the body, and it sends a signal down to one of your immune cells called a T helper cell. This is like the 911 operator of the immune system. And when the T helper cell now gets enough signal, hey, we have a toxin in the body, we have a drug, or we have, uh, we have uh, a food that we don't like, or, or maybe there's a, uh, a, this infection that's running through the bloodstream, the T helper cell calls on what's called your B cells of your immune system, and it calls on your T cells, and it calls on your natural killer cells. Let's make this more simple. The 911 operator heard that there is a distress call from somewhere in the body that there's an infection, so the 911 operator called on the police and firemen to come in and assess the situation, and then called on your Marines and your Army to come in and take care of the invasion. 
That's pretty simple to understand that way. So what happens over time when there's a chronic infection and food sensitivities and toxins in the food and a number of things that could be going on, and I talked about all of it on that introduction video here on this thyroid website, your immune system starts tipping the scales in a imbalanced direction. And if you keep adding on fuel to the fire and making your immune system more imbalanced, guess what? You have more pro-inflammatory chemicals produced. That's not good instead of anti-inflammatory chemicals. And when we have these pro-inflammatory chemicals produced by the body, these substances, I don't want to give you too much medical terminology. Let's make this easy to understand. When you have too much of these pro-inflammatory chemicals produced, it starts to aggravate other tissues, tagging tissues that have chemicals on them, and then we have antibodies forming against those tissues, and then you have this further imbalanced immune system. And let's just say that coffee is part of this. And you add coffee, and you more coffee, and then you eat some donuts and you get more imbalanced. You understand? So we've got to take a look at your system in a different way. It's not looking at treating the thyroid condition or treating the Graves or Hashimoto's condition. It's about looking at what caused this in the first place. Get the toxins out of the body. Change the diet. Get the toxins out. Change the diet. Fix it if we have a bad tooth. Get the sugars balanced get the anemia back in order, have the immune system back in balance so that we can pick up all the, take away all the stress from every other tissue in your body and let the system finally calm down and take a break. So that's basically what I wanted to share, what I wanted to share with you is remove these antigens and get balanced back to the immune system. And that way you can feel calm again and you don't need to keep playing around with all the medical, uh, uh, the hormones that they're giving you and, and so on, okay? So that's all I wanted to share with you. Not about treating the thyroid, it's about looking at what caused this problem in the first place. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I look forward to sharing more information with you on all these other videos. Thank you.